You're watching the Showbiz Inside and Out. Time now to bring you up to date with the musical local maestros who have been rocking the Emirates over the festive season. But first, I want to mix it up a little bit and introduce you to a very special new artist who is bringing a completely fresh take to contemporary dance in the Emirates. Take a look at this. The Fridge hosted a unique contemporary dance performance titled I Labanyu by incredible artist and choreographer Monica Antizana. Inspired by a curiosity for words and the relationship between movement, time and space. This dance lecture performance is about the meaning of one word. Love. And how it connects science, music, symbols and objects and even Southeast Asian politics. So Monica, such a privilege to have you in back in Dubai, I Labanyu. Tell me about the whole creative process because it's such a fusion of so many different things. There's science, there's movement, there's space. Talk me through it. How did it where did it come from? Um, it all started when I was asked uh, to choose a theme that I would uh, hold on to until I made a little show, a little performance while I was studying uh, performance studies. So uh, I was asked to do that for the next day. So in, at night, I thought like, okay, what do I want to do? I want to study my hero in dance called uh, Rudolf von Laban, or do I want to study uh, my favorite food, which is yogurt? So I started the research, and it turned out to be that Laban means uh, yogurt in Arabic. And I find, found that fascinating, and it's called serendipity. It's where you're in, when you're in a process of uh, discovering, uh, sorry, of uh, researching something, you by accident discover something else when, whilst looking for something completely different. And that's what happened. So I started to take the meaning of the word Laban and not just imagining that it's yogurt or it's um, the character of, of um, this dance, this movement and dance theoretician. And I came across many meanings of the word Laban. Like it's a political party in the Philippines. It also can be written in different ways, like for Braille, for blind people, or it can also be in the Morse code. And I started to take all these signs and symbols, everything related to the word Laban. So I started mixing uh, speech. I talk on stage. I use music. I use objects. I eat some yogurt. And um, I also explain on a flip chart uh, what Laban, the movement theoretician, developed, and it was a way of writing movement. So that was about time and space and the relationship between those. How do you kind of show that in your dance and in your, you know, your creativity? <laughs> um, I believe, and this is what um, the base for my dance center called Move Lab um, holds it's that I believe that dance is really body space and time it sounds non poetic but I think that uh, when we see movement there is a body executing this movement it's being executed in a place that would be the space and at a certain moment which would be the time and the so, relationship like between any props that you're using and your audience exactly it for me the relationship between uh, anything that I'm doing uh, and in relation with the, with the audience is about timing. It's when I do what, that will give it a certain meaning. If I suddenly surprise you like that, <laughs> I, I create a reaction. Or if I start approaching to you slowly. So it's really these things in space and in time that, um, that are in relation to, to the audience. What is dance? I know it's just such a wide answer, but could you give me your take on that? The beauty of it is that it's also a word that has been labeled. Um, for me, what keeps me going on in the world of dance, it's that I believe that uh, dance is an idea. And this idea changes in times, like, and also in, in cultures. So some, some cultures would say it, dance is like really doing steps onto the music. And other people would say, no, dance is just uh, moving freely without music. So it's their ideas. And I like to explore these ideas. What, what um, one source is saying that's dance and what's another. My view of dance is really the potential of a body in space and time, that it can move. And um, choreography can enable to be this movement, dance. 
and the Fridge singer songwriter truck follows the sounds of the Fridge's artists as they toured our Circle Avenue by truck, performing live acoustic sets from three different locations and bringing music to the entire avenue. How would you describe your music? Our music is more like psychedelic, experimental. We like to experiment with uh, lots of instruments in our band, like uh, new and, for example, Indian, Indian instrument we have, the harmonium. It's interesting and it's really bland in our music well and what we do. So I hope we'll uh, be something we'll do uh, out of our music. Yeah. Now, you beautiful so, ladies are from Georgia. How does your heritage affect your art and your music? It does a lot, actually. Uh, we're uh, fusing some Georgian traditional folk music as well, uh, some parts of it. And we're in the uh, future, we're planning to sing some Georgian songs as well, uh, like in our version, some covers of Georgian songs. And maybe we'll write some Georgian songs as well. <laughs> And here's Craig Perry, guitarist and finalist of Rolling Stone magazine's Street to Stage competition with his soulful version of Royals. Parallel sound system featuring the boards. Yes, Dubai's hottest new ambient electro outfit took to the stage with a guest appearance from the board. We finally saw the New Year in with what's rumoured to be the biggest fireworks display on Earth. Where better in the world to celebrate 2014 and a rocking New Year's Eve party? Those were the big stories in film, fashion, art and music. And that brings us to the end of this edition of the Showbiz Insider. Hope you loved the show, guys, and had a wonderful Christmas. Wishing you lots of love and luck for 2014. Make sure you catch us same time next month. More local legends and Hollywood gossip.